Let's solve this linear equation. x plus 4 over 6 equals 2 minus x plus 5 over 5. And let's go through our four steps. Our first step is get rid of parentheses, don't have any. Second step is get rid of fractions. We do have fractions, and you do the you get rid of the fractions by multiplying everything by the LCM of all your denominators. I got six and five, so my LCM is going to be thirty. So I'll multiply x plus four over six by thirty. I'll multiply the two by thirty, and I'll multiply the x plus five over five by thirty. Well, 30 and 6 both of us by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 30 divided by 6 is 5. 5 and 30 both of us by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 30 divided by 5 is 6. Let's write down what we have left before I multiply it through. We got 5 times x plus 4 equals 30 times 2 minus 6 times x plus 5. Well, 5 times x is 5x. 5, 5 times 4 is 20. 30 times 2 is 60. Negative 6 times x is negative 6x. Negative 6 times 5 is negative 30. Our note up at top says an A step combined together like terms, combined together numbers. Over on the right side, we got 60 minus 30, which gives us 30. And let me just double check that. Yeah. I worked these on the paper before I did this, and it looks like I screwed up on a sign. That's great. I came up with a negative 30 right here, but uh, sure enough, 30 times 2 is 60. And then this over here would give us negative 30, so that's positive 30. Okay, step 3. Get everything with an x on one side and numbers on the other. So I'll take negative 6x to the left side. I'll take 20 to the right. Anytime you take anything across your equals, remember the sign changes. The negative 6x becomes a positive 6x. And the uh, 20 becomes a negative 20. So we've got 5x plus 6x is 11x, and 30 minus 20 is 10. And um, That's uh, interesting how I worked that. Came up, came up the right answer. I guess I was that. I guess I just worked it different on my piece, uh, piece of paper here, because uh, I get to get the same answer. Must have been tired when I did that. Step four: divide both sides by the number in front of your x. Oops, I don't want that color. Okay, so I'm going to divide both sides by 11. And these 11's cancel here. And we get x is equal to the 10 11's is our answer.